Welcome back! It's me again, Sir Joel, your mathematics teacher. In our two previous videos, you've learned how to add similar fractions basically and write its answers into lowest term. That improper fraction should be converted into a mixed number. On this video, you will again learn how to add addition of similar fractions. But this time, this involves whole number and mixed number. You know what? Ang technique lang naman dito, yung video na nauna na dalawa plus this video pagsasamahin lang natin, so magiging madali ang ating discussion. Well, I guess you are all ready to listen to our main topic today. Our first example is adding fraction by another fraction. Suppose our problem is this, 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8. What is the sum? Well, since the denominators are the same, meaning these are similar fractions. And being similar fractions, so what you are going to do is to copy the denominator 8 once and add the two numerators 3 and 5. What is the sum of 3 and 5? Of course, the sum is 8. Then copy the denominator 8. So 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 then equals 8 over 8. But again, based on our previous video, if the numerator is equivalent to its denominator, the answer is always equivalent to 1. Very good. Naalala nyo pa. So lagi nating tatandaan, if the numerator is equivalent to the given denominator, the answer is always equivalent to 1. Our next example is fraction and a mixed number. How can we get the sum of these two? Let us find out. The given number, let's say our fraction, is 5 over 13, while the given mixed number is 5 and 4 over 13. Still, denominators are the same. What is the sum of these two? Same as what we did in our previous discussion, if you look at the two given fractions, 4 over 13 and 5 over 13, their denominators are the same. So, copy the denominator 13 once, then add 4 and 5. What is the sum? 9 over 13. Well, let us check. Is 9 over 13 already written in its lowest term? Babalikan natin yung ginawa natin. So, get the factors of 9 and 13 first. The factors of 9 and 13 are as follows. Since we can get 9 through 1 times 9 and 3 times 3, the factors of 9 then are 1, 9, and 3. For 13, we only have 1 times 13. So the factors of 13 then are 1 and 13. Looking at the factors of 9 and 13, the only common factor is 1. Again, if that is our case, therefore, our fraction 9 over 13 is already in its lowest term, since the only common factor of the 2 is 1. So what will you do next? Copy your partial sum 9 over 13. I said partial kasi ang ginawa lang naman natin ay inad ang fractional part. So now, anong kasunod? Going back to our problem, meron tayong whole number na 5. Copy that whole number 5. And then, Add it to our answer in our fractional part. So we have now 5 plus 9 over 13. What do you think is the sum of these two? Well, it is simply 5 and 9 over 13. Nawala na lamang yung plus 
sign. Ibig sabihin, if you are going to add a whole number and a fractional part, copy the whole number and then the fractional part. Put it together to get your final answer. Claro? Okay. Our next example is adding fraction and a mixed number once more. The given is 3 and 5 over 18 plus 7 over 18. Since denominators are the same, once more, they are similar fractions. So copy the denominator 18, okay? Then add the numerators 5 and 7. Again, ang una muna natin ginawa ay ia-add yung fractional parts. 5 over 18 and 7 over 18. Now, what is the sum of 5 and 7? Of course, it is 12. Very good. So, our answer now temporarily is 12 over 18. Well, the problem is, is 12 over 18 written in lowest term? Tingnan natin. What are the factors of 12? So, we can obtain its factors through the following. Possible, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. So, those are factors of 12. 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, and 4. For 18, we can obtain its factors through 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. So the factors of 18 are 1, 18, 2, 9, 3, and 6. Very good. Now, looking at the common factors of 12 and 18, what are those? We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Among those common factors, which is the greatest common factor? Well, it is 6. Oy, ang galing. Very good. Now, since 6 is the greatest common factor of 12 and 18, we will divide it by 6. So, what's gonna happen to 12 now and 18? So, they will become 2 over 3. Bakit? Kasi 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. While 18 divided by 6, the answer is 3. It is now 2 over 3 or 2 thirds. Ayos? What's next? Copy your fractional sum 2 thirds. Then going back to our problem, since we have this whole number 3, copy 3. And then, add 3 and 2 thirds. What is the sum? Well, it is 3 and 2 thirds. Ang galing. So, nakuha ninyo ang concept on how we can add whole number and fraction now. Very good. Ipagpatuloy nyo lang, mga bata. Our next example is a fraction and a mixed number again. Suppose we have 5 and 5 over 9 plus 7 over 9. What is the sum? Again, add the fractional parts first. 5 over 9 plus 7 over 9. Denominators are the same. Copy 9 once and add 5 and 7. So, what is 5 plus 7? The answer is 12. So, it is now 12 over 9. Again, let us observe. What can you say about 12 over 9? So, tama. It is an improper fraction. And because it is an improper fraction, ano muna ang dapat gawin? We will divide 12 by 9. So, how many 9 in 12? So, 1. What is 1 times 9? 9. What is 12 minus 9? 3. 
And since you cannot divide 3 by 9, then what is 12 over 9 then? So 12 over 9 can be converted into a mixed form or mixed number 1 and 3 over 9. Now, in 1 and 3 over 9, there is a fraction 3 over 9. Question, ang 3 over 9 ba ay naka lowest term? Again, let us check. What are the factors of 3 and what are the factors of 9? Isa-isahin ulit natin. So, we can obtain the factors of 3 through, well, it is simply 1 times 3. For 9, we can get 9 through 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. So, let us observe the factors of these two numbers, 3 and 9. What are those? The common factors are 1 and 3. So, again, you are looking for the greatest common factor of these two numbers, 3 and 9. At ano nga ito? 3. Oy, ang galing talaga. Nakukuha nyo na. So, therefore, anong nangyayari ngayon sa so 1 and 3 over 9? We will divide 3 over 9 by its greatest common factor, 3. So, ano ang mangyayari ngayon sa 3? 3 divided by 3, 1. 9 divided by 3, 3. Therefore, 1 and 3 over 9 now is equivalent to 1 and 1 third. Ayos? Okay. Ano nga ang tawag sa 1 and 1 third? Ito lamang yung ating partial sum. Bakit? Kasi nga, ang inad lang natin at this point ay yung fractional parts. So, let us continue. Copy our partial sum. 1 and 1 over 3 or 1 and 1 third. Now, going back to our problem, there is a whole number 5. So, bring it down. Then, add it to our partial sum 1 and 1 third. So, if you notice, there is a whole number 1 in a mixed form or mixed number and then added by 5. What do you think is 5 plus 1? Ay, 6. Ang galing naman. So, therefore, the answer of 5 plus 1 and 1 third is equivalent to 6 and 1 third. So, then, what is the sum of 5 and 5 over 9 plus 7 over 9? It is simply 6 and 1 third. So, that's it. Ganyan lang siya kadali. Ayos? Okay, our example number 5 is adding mixed number by another mixed number. Problem, 7 and 5 over 7 plus 4 and 3 over 7. Well, katulad ng ginawa natin a while ago sa mga nauna nating discussions, add the fractional parts. 5 over 7 plus 3 over 7. Copy the denominator 7 once. Then add the numerators 5 and 3. What is 5 plus 3? The answer is 8. Therefore, it is 8 over 7. And 8 over 7 basically is an improper fraction. Since it is an improper fraction, it is better if we will convert this into a mixed form. Paano nga ulit? We will divide 8 by 7. How many 7 in 8? 1. What is 1 times 7? 7. What is 8 minus 7? 1. Again, you cannot divide 1 by 7. Therefore, 8 over 7 now in mixed form is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 7. And this 1 and 1 over 7 is our fractional sum. Saan nga ulit? Sa sum ng 5 over 7 plus 3 over 7. Okay? What's next? Looking back to our problem, there is a whole number 7. 
So, kopyahin natin yung 7. Another whole number here is 4. So, kopyahin yung 4. Then, get the sum of 7 and 4. The answer is 11. Okay? A while ago, we have the fractional sum of 1 and 1 over 7. Ano ngayon ang gagawin natin? Add 11 and 1 and 1 over 7 to get 12 and 1 over 7. Saan ang galing ang 12? Sa 11 plus 1. Saan ang galing ang 1 over 7? Sa 1 over 7. Diba? Sabi nga natin, kapag nag-a-add fractional part sa fractional part and whole number sa whole number. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. Kaya alam ko, mamaya, in our activity, kaya nyo ulit i-perfect ang inyong mga scores. Good luck! Okay, before giving you the activity in today's lesson, alamin muna ulit natin yung steps on how we can solve similar fractions involving whole number and mixed number. Number one step, add the fractional parts first. So take note, this fractional parts sum will serve as your initial sum. Now, since you are asked to look for the sum of the fractional parts of the given problem, see to it that your answer should be written in lowest term. Or if it is an improper fraction, make it sure that this is converted into a mixed number. Next, number two, add the given whole numbers. Ibig sabihin, simple lang. Kanina, fractional parts. Then this time, sa whole number. Meaning to say, in adding fractions, like similar fractions, ang gagawin pala muna is get the sum of the fractional parts and then the sum of the given whole number. So, yun lang muna. Or given whole numbers. And last, add the initial sum, which is coming from the fractional parts and the sum of the given whole numbers for us to have our final answer. So, ito ang steps in order to solve uh, similar fractions involving whole number and mixed number. So, good luck sa inyong activity this morning or this afternoon. So, muli, thank you for listening at isusunod na natin ang ating activity today. Okay, so this is our activity in today's lesson. Paalala lang, dapat ang sagot natin ay palaging written in lowest term. If it is an improper fraction, see to it na ito ay converted into a mixed number. Again, good luck. Alam kong kaya niyong sagutin ito ng tama. Aim high to get a perfect score. So, bye-bye. Once again, thank you.